Hey, you must be my son's teacher. Thank you for coming by. Sit down, sit down, please. You want some water or some coffee? Before we get started. Now, I know you're probably thinking like, away is the mom and all that stuff. Well, let's just say it's a long story and such. I'm a single parent here. I don't know if my son already told you about this, but I'm the one who manages everything in the house. And there's a reason why my sons are like that in the first place. And you asked me on, well, to be exact, your school principal asked me if I, or if he could ask one of the teachers to come by and just check on the household out. I don't know if that, <laughs> I don't know at first if that was like a threat or something or <laughs> a woman. Yeah, I'm just scared that, I have to be honest, ever since I got divorced with my wife, I was scared that some lawyers are going to budge and just take my kids away from me. As you can see, I'm doing everything in this house all alone. There are rumors I heard that I'm a crack addict in the school. And as you can see, I don't even have any signs of a crack addict. Most of my houses, you can check all of us, mostly clean and such. It's just nice for you to come by at least. It's been pretty lonely and it's been a while since I last have a guest, of course. So, yeah, what is it about my son that you want to know about? The environment and such. When was the last time I took a drink? Long, long time ago, to be honest. Ever since I was married with my wife, ex-wife, I'm sorry. I never really had a single day where I felt really happy. I was an alcoholic by then. I was trying to cope with being married, the expectations of it. Everyone all around us were just perfect. Yet for some reason, we, we just weren't that. We weren't cut for it. And when our child, he was, he wasn't planned, it was all accidental and such. I was scared at the time. My wife wanted to just abort it. And I was in for it, I, I thought I wasn't ready too, so I might as well. We both weren't ready, we were young, we were toxic, but we decided to just say, fuck it, what's the worst that thing that could happen? And I remember I started drinking more, I wasn't ready, I was trying to cope everything, but... As soon as I... As soon as I held that baby for the first time, Everything just changed. Everything I did from that moment on was all for the kids. Ever since then, I, I never drink. I was always focused on the on my kids, so that my kids don't see me as a failure of some sort. Or at least I hope so. I've gone through quite enough time on this.
You know I can't lie. Can I can I tell you something? When you when every school principal tried to tell me that there's gonna be a teacher who's gonna come to look after the not look after to check on the household, I I thought they were gonna send in someone like you know um social service type or something. <laughs> Never expected a young, beautiful woman like you. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to be flirtatious. I'm, I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Look. I'll tell you this about me. Might be single dad. Might focus on my child a lot. That doesn't mean I don't have my wits in me. I'm not on. I will always be honest with you. That's for damn sure. That's why my kids are brutally honest, even though sometimes not in the best ways. <laughs> How long have you been a teacher? For quite some time. I'm sure you're a smart man. Smart woman to be exact. It's admirable to be honest. I've always been admired with smart women. Marie Curie. And even though I'm not into the educational side of things, I've always felt like women has an advantage being a woman I don't know how to explain this but there's just something about women their their power of some kind I don't know dangerous one <laughs> Have you son told me about what's my job? Other than being a, a lumberjack, or you could say a woodcutter, I'm also a writer of some sort. I write poems for a living. <laughs> to be honest, it's just copywriting, but I, I, I make it as if it's poem. I have my own sense of style. I don't want to read to any of my poems. I, I, I don't feel like... I don't feel it's good enough, but... Let me just tell you this of what I think about a woman. A woman is the most beautiful thing in this world. It could move men to tears. She could move men to walls. She could build a man up. And she could tear a man's soul. A woman is elegant. Beautiful. And powerful. A lot of people think feminine. <laughs> I don't know how to say this, I'm sorry. A lot of people think feminine qualities is a weakness. Some women do think that. But I believe that sometimes feminine woman is just as powerful. A woman who understands how to be feminine, a woman who understands the value of her own self control the world, trust me. I know I was once. You see, I still don't understand. I 
I know you're not a psychologist. I'm not, I know you're not qualified or something, but I'm just glad that you listened to me. It's been quite a while since someone listened to me, and it's been very nice to be having a conversation with you. You're a lovely woman. And yeah, it's just really nice. Maybe we could hang out sometimes. Just, you know, talk a little bit more. I heard you're a literature teacher and I thought you might be interested. <laughs> I'll only show you my best works. <laughs> Yeah, I know you have a lot of time and I know you have your own schedule so I won't be taking as much of your time. My son's gonna come home in quite a few minutes so he's probably gonna be surprised that you came by. <laughs> yeah. I think that's all really. Uh, I don't so if you want to ask me about anything, you could. Maybe we could just talk, you know, next time. Outside the house, you know. Somewhere where we could actually eat while we talk. <laughs> Am I asking you for a date? No, I'm asking for you for a therapy. <laughs> I'm sure there's something annoying you want to talk about right inside your head. I've been told I have good ears and good mouth. <laughs> well, a few people have said I'm good with the mouth, but I'll let people decide about that. Okay? Alright, I think. I think we. think you have to go now, so I'll escort you out, okay? Thank you for the time, and we'll meet each other again real soon, okay? <laughs> yeah. We'll meet each other again real soon. Have a great day. And thank you for listening.